And the last step of my process is I'm going to use some markers and I'm going to color in the designs that I've made. And I know that everyone thinks that they know how to use markers, but I'm going to show you anyways for those of you who would like some pointers. So if I use the very tip of my marker, it's going to make a very fine line like this. Fine, meaning thin. If I hold my marker at an angle and I use the side of my markers, it's going to make a thick line like this. Now, I want this whole section to be red. I can choose to use the tip, but it's going to take a long time. If I use the side, I can color a lot faster, and in my opinion, more effectively, because it looks so much neater. Yes, stay in the lines, control the marker. Don't let the marker control you. There you go. So because I have red on the right side of this square, when I move to this square, I'm also going to have the red on the right side. When you're, make, when you're making a pattern, I always think it's best to really, really like your pattern. Why? Because you have to do it again and again and again and again. And in art, we call that repetition doing the same thing again and again and again, and that creates a pattern. Once again, I'm using the side of the marker.